Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. Today's video is a really exciting one. It's my luxury designer handbag collection. This is the first time I've ever filmed a video like this. Um, I think I've got quite a small collection, but a well thought out collection. It's something that I would love to grow in the years to come. And if you've been following my content for a while, you will be familiar with all of these bags because I get so much wear out of my bags. That is just something that I really, really consider when I'm buying. I really want to obviously get my money's worth and be able to wear them so much. Just quickly want to say, I don't want this video to feel braggy or anything like that at all. That is literally not what I'm trying to do. If you have watched other people's collections, I'm sure they've got much bigger collections than I have. I've just got a small collection that I am really proud and happy of. But as I said, this is in no means braggy or showing off at all. Um, I just want to show you my lovely bags. I have just made myself a coffee. It's quite cold in the house today. It's really warming up my hands. So pause the video and go and grab yourself a drink, get comfortable. I bought some vanilla syrup from Amazon and it's just the best thing for my coffees. So good. Okay, so I was thinking about what order to do these in and I'm going to start from my very first purchase. So this was my very first designer handbag. It's the Gucci Soho Disco bag and I got it in black because black bags go with everything. Black bags are timeless and as my first bag I wanted to wear it a lot. I absolutely just love the simplicity of this bag and I still really love it now. There was a period where I didn't wear it but I have got it back out and I've fallen back in love with it. It's such a good size that you really can get a lot in here but it's not too big. I love that you can wear it as a clutch, across body, on your shoulder. This isn't an on-trend bag. I would say that this is a classic. Something that I love about designer bags is mine all kind of have a story um, or I can remember exactly where I was and the moment of when I purchased them and I know some people might think they're just bags but for me they hold quite a lot of sentiment, a lot of memories and they're really special to me. So with this bag, quick I'm not going to bore you with all my bag stories, but just quickly on this one. Tom and I were going to Paris. It was my first time of ever going to Paris. And for me, going to Paris was like the dream. I've been working full time in my job and still doing all of my blogging on the side. At this point, this is where I'd work Monday to Friday. And then I'd spend Saturday and Sunday shooting and prepping all of my content for the following week. Because obviously I was at work Monday to Friday, so I couldn't shoot in the week. So I was working like seven days a week. I was working really hard and I'd saved up for this bag. And we were going to Paris and I thought, oh my God, I want to take the bag to Paris. Hang on, Bertie's eating the pampas grass. So I bought the bag online before we went to Paris. So this bag just reminds me of going to Paris for the first ever time. And just kind of my first real, oh my gosh, I can't believe like I bought that from my own hard work. So literally like this bag is like really special to me it's a bag that goes up in value because i believe that i bought this for around 600 pounds and i'm pretty sure they're about 800 now if you are looking for a bag that you're going to get lots of wear out of for years to come really good quality um i would highly recommend this bag it's also with this bag the leather as you can see, is really, really hard wearing and long lasting. As I've said, I've worn this bag so much and there's like, you can really not see any wear on it. So it's not kind of a delicate bag of a really soft leather that would mark easily. I think this is a really hard wearing bag. So all round, I am literally over the moon with this bag. Okay, so next up is the Marc Jacobs Shutter Bag. I bought this later on in 2017. Again, we were going on a trip, Tom and I were going to New York and I actually had a voucher for Farfetch. So I actually put the voucher towards this and I really still love this style of bag. I mean, looking back, I must have been really into crossbody bags because these are both kind of similar shape, similar size. Um, and yeah, I love this. It's a really nice soft pastel pink. To be honest, I haven't worn this recently. And to be honest, this is something I would consider selling just because I think now I wear a lot more gold jewelry and this has got silver hardware on. 
um, and I don't think I would perhaps wear a pink bag as much. Um, saying that, it goes really nicely with this jumper. Um, but it's such a beautiful bag, I do not regret buying it. It's a really nice size. I love that it's got the two compartments in. I loved wearing this and I still really love it. Um, but as I said, I'd like to grow my collection, I can't keep everything forever. and. Like, I want to be able to, I want like these lovely bags to have a new lease of life. So I think perhaps I will sell this. So um, keep your eyes out if you're interested. If you perhaps are just looking for an everyday bag or your first designer bag, I think the Marc Jacobs bag is such a good price point. I think this was around 300 pounds. So getting a designer bag is really great quality, um, but it's at a really reasonable price for a designer bag. This kind of met a purpose purpose at the time um, but this isn't one that will be staying in my forever collection okay next up is probably my like one of my I mean probably my favorite designer bag it's the Louis Vuitton it's the Clapton backpack I should have got the straps shouldn't I to show you with the straps on but basically I'll pop some pictures in as I'm wearing it as a rucksack but it has these little hooks here where you can hang straps on so it kind of doubles up as a backpack you can do the strap cross body um, and you can just use it as a handheld bag so I remember buying this this was in 2019 um, I was with my friend Hayley. At this time, I'd been saving up for a bag, but I just couldn't find the right one. And I saw this bag and I instantly knew. I was just like, oh my gosh, I've never seen it before. It's it's just so perfect. And I was trying it on with the straps, without the straps. It's, I just take the dust bag out. It's a really good size, as you can see from the base. Like you can get a lot in there. And also um, where the this folds in, you can fold that out and have it like wider as well. And I was just literally love at first sight with this bag. And as I said at the beginning, all my bags are really well thought out. This actually wasn't, I bought this there and then. Um, the lady said this was the last one left and that instantly made me want it even more. So in the store, I just didn't take my hands off this because I was so worried that somebody else was gonna pick it up and buy it. This is in the Demer print and I just absolutely loved kind of the details on the buckle. It's just so beautifully made and as I said, it was literally love at first sight and I was the happiest, happiest person walking out of that store with the bag. I bought this for, I think it was around £1,400 and um, I recently was trying to find a link for one and the one that I found was 1700 so it's already gone up. Designer bags seem to go up every year, um, so if you're thinking about getting a bag, that is just something to consider. So yeah, this definitely is one of my favourite favorite bags. I hadn't seen it before, I hadn't seen anyone else wearing it and that just made it really special for me as well. Yeah, so I'm just literally thrilled to bits with this and I can't ever imagine myself selling this one. I also bought this bag in 2019 as well, it's the Prada bucket bag and I bought this in the summer because I remember really wanting a white or light coloured bag that I, I could just mix with any kind of summery outfit. I wanted it to be a good size to fit a lot of things in and this again um, was actually quite a love at first sight. So I saw this in the Selfridges store and again, never seen it before, never seen it on anyone else. And I just thought, oh my gosh, I love it. I really, really love it. it came with like a thick canvas strap as well, but I've actually never worn that. But I really have worn this a lot. It's absolutely beautiful. It's the Prada leather bucket bag. With it being white, I have got a few marks on it, but again, it's that same leather. It's quite a grainy leather, so it um, is quite hard wearing. It's not kind of a soft, scratchable leather. Um, I love that it's got the, the very simple gold detailing on the eyelets in the bag as well. They also have this in other colors. This is actually a big bag. If you look at the base of it and the height of it, you can get so much in here. I feel, I feel like last summer, I didn't really get to wear this bag much, obviously, because we were in lockdown for most of the summer last year. So I'm really 
really, really looking forward to re-wearing this um, this summer and getting it back out. Because this is white, it goes with kind of any any outfit, which I absolutely love. Um, it's so nice with spring outfits and summer outfits. And I did wear it quite a lot in winter as well. I love winter white. So for me, it's a really nice all year round bag. And again, I can't see myself selling this one anytime soon. Then it's another white bag and it's the Mini C Chloe bag. I've got this in the white croc effect leather. This isn't crocodile, it's just the croc effect leather. This is like the most beautiful little bag. The gold detailing is so beautiful. I love this extra kind of flap it's got here. Um, but it's tiny. I mean, I knew that when I bought it, but I've got, I have got the big phone, the XS, and like it does go in, but it's like a push. And then where it goes in, it's so tight in there that you can't really get much in around it and then to get it out, ugh. So, I love this bag so much and it just looks so beautiful with summer dresses because it's really like quite small and I've got a wedding to go to this summer and I'm definitely going to use this bag. Um, it just doesn't fit my phone in. It's not that practical. It is too small. If you have got a smaller phone, brilliant. And to be honest, I have my phone a lot in my hand anyway. I've actually still got the tag in it. I mean, I don't know why I've still got the tag in it. I got that from Farfetch as well. I got this bag at a really good price. I believe that I got this for around, I think it was 935. And I'm sure now it's over a thousand pound. So yeah, I really, really love this. It's beautiful to look at. It looks amazing with outfits, but it's just not that practical. And if you're thinking, why didn't you, why didn't you get the next size up? Personally, for me, I just preferred this shape. I love the little square boxy bag. So yeah, practicality wise, um, I wouldn't give this a high rating, but looks wise, how, how I love wearing it, I love pairing with outfits, I would give that a high rating. So, but I'm not planning on selling this anytime soon. It's a really nice little evening bag on holiday or just times where you don't need that much. And then my most recent bag purchase is the Teddy Tote from Marc Jacobs. I love Marc Jacobs bags. They have some really nice designs and they're all at such an affordable price point. I believe that this was under 300 it could have been 250 i can't remember exactly how much but yeah definitely really reasonable price points if you're looking for a designer bag i really wanted an easy everyday bag that i could put my laptop in i got this in november so in the winter i was really enjoying those teddy tones and textures um so i do think that this is perhaps a bit more of a wintry bag just because of that teddy ball material however don't hold me to that i might wear it in the summer i'm not sure um but it's such a nice size it just goes really nicely with all of my neutral outfits i love it i can't fault this bag although it's a big bag it has got a little internal zip for any little safe bits and it does zip do up all the way so i don't like when you can't do bags up at the top so yeah for me i have absolutely loved this bag again with lockdown i haven't been able to wear it as much as i would like to another one i am really happy with my other bag that i can't show you is my loewe basket bag um, and that's because it's in the loft i packed it away with all of my summer clothes so i cannot wait to get that back out i've had that for a good few years now maybe i think this might be the third summer that i've had it and i was really unsure whether to spend again i can't remember i think it was 285 i felt like spending 285 pounds on a basket bag really but you know what i am so glad i bought it and i wish i bought it sooner it's so beautiful it looks amazing with outfits it's a really lovely quality leather straps there's barely any wear on them it still looks so new i am just thrilled to bits with that so i can't wait to get it out this summer and then the other bag that i want to show you um this is a bag that i'm actually selling at the moment i just need to upload it for sale so if you're interested let me know it's a small chloe fay bag and it's in the biscotti uh patchwork print it's a mix of leather and suede it is a really really beautiful bag it's so beautiful it's such a lovely bag but i 
I just, I haven't worn it. I haven't worn it as much as I thought that I would. Um, I bought it from Vista Village. It goes so nicely with all of that, the neutral tones that I have. But as you can see, all the bags I have shown you, apart from my Louis Vuitton, they've been plain and I think that plain, more plainer bags work better for me and my style. So um, I really want to give this a new home um, because it's in a beautiful condition. I've, I think I've worn it once. Um, I've got all of the like authenticity card. I've got the original dust bag and the receipts and everything. So if you are interested, let me know. But I wanted to include that in there as well. So there are all of my current bags. Apart from the two that I want to sell, I get so much wear out of them and I have got a new bag um, on my mind. So it's my 30th birthday in May. And for my entire kind of adult life, as, as long as I've known Chanel bags, it's been the ultimate bag to have. It's always been the same style the same one for me it's the it's the black medium with the lambskin with the gold hardware I wanted it to be for something really special i didn't just want to like buy it with no meaning as i've sort of said with the other bags because all my bags kind of have a story i'd always said throughout my 20s i'd always said i'm gonna buy myself a chanel bag for my 30th and um I got to a point last year where I was getting really impatient for it. Just a few days before Christmas, Tom and I had planned a day in London where we were going to do some kind of Selfridges shopping, where we were going to have a nice lunch and to have like a Christmassy day out. And I thought, do you know what, that is like the perfect time to buy it. Um, I'm going to do it then, when we go together, because I kind of wanted him to be with me. He doesn't care, he doesn't get it, um, but I just thought it'd be nice for him to be there as well. And then they announced the lockdown like two days before we were supposed to go. So since then, the store has been closed and we're now in March, my birthday's two months away. So in hindsight, I think that that was fate and it has made me wait until my actual birthday to get it. So I'm not sure what stock levels are gonna be like with obviously everything going on. So I'm gonna go in there when they reopen and just suss out the situation. So there are my designer bags. Um, I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed sharing them, kind of reminiscing about all of the stories that I have with them.